basically we like so we've already looked at some really simple math adding things and multiplying things what we can do and this is one thing this is what's really powerful with programming is we can write programs where we calculate things using either a literal that's like a number that we have hard coded into the program variables or a mix of that so we can do things like area is equal to 2 times pi times radius, then we could get this radius from the user. So we have a, if we have this in our program where we're getting the radius from the user, we have a program that the user can run it, type in their radius, and it's going to calculate the area and give it back to the user. Um, we can also do things like, so C out, let's say we're calculating the length around a, a rectangle. So border is, and then let's do this, so 2 times, and then length times width. So we haven't really stored this formula to a variable as we've put it directly into the output. So before we start looking at some more complicated math, we want to look at operator preference, so we, or precedence. So we've already seen the multiplication operator, divide, and the modulus, and we've seen the plus and the negative. Oh, and we've seen the unary operator. So remember the unary operator, the example of that is to is a negative for a number, so that's a negation operator. These are, if we look at the order of precedence, the unary operator is first. So if the unary operator is going to be applied before the multiply divider modulus and before the plus and minus. And then the next order of precedence is this multiply, divide, and modulus. So first the unary operator, then the multiply, divide, and modulus, and then after that, the plus and minus. And so what that means is if we have, let's say we have 12 plus 6 divided by 3, the this divide operator has a higher precedence than the plus, and so it's going to calculate the 6 divided by 3 first, so it's going to calculate 2 plus 12, and then it's going to, and then it's going to calculate the 12 plus 2 last. All of, the other thing is, the, this, so this unary operator, if we look at our equation, the unary operator has a right to left uh, associativity, so order of associativity, so this is right to left, and then these other two, the multiply, divide, modulus, and plus and minus, these both have left to right associativity. So what that means is if we, let's say we have 5 plus 3 minus 2, the plus and minus have the same precedence. So this is just going to start on the left side and move over. So it's going to calculate the 5 plus 3 first, so it's going to get 8 and then minus 2 last, and so this is going to be 6. Um, same thing if we have, say, 12 divided by 6 multiplied by 4. The 12, so the divide and the multiply have the same order of precedence, so this is going to just, it's going to start on the left side and move to the right. So it's going to start here, um, and it's going to calculate the 12 divided by 6 first, so we're going to have 2, and then this is going to be multiplied by 4, and we're going to get 8. So the way that you can force a certain order of calculation is group with parentheses, and you've probably already seen this with like, do, like doing things on your calculator. Let's say you have 5 plus 2 multiplied by 4. If we don't have any parentheses on this, it's going to multiply the 4 and the 2 first because the multiply has a higher order of precedence than the plus. So if we say we wanted the 5 plus 2 to occur first, we just put parentheses around it. And that forces the um, 5 plus 2 to occur first. So we're going to practice using that with some formulas. But the other thing I want to show you before we move on to the example program is use how to do an exponent in C++. So there's no exponent in C++, the, so you, you can't do like 5 squared, I mean you can do 5 squared, but you can't do, like some programs, some programming languages you can do this, and that'll calculate 5 squared. So this operator 
isn't uh, doesn't um, doesn't raise to a power in C++. So what we can do is use this. There's this function called pow. So let's say we want four squared. We would do pow and then four point zero and two point zero. And what this is going to do, so these are the arguments to the function, so we're sending the function 4.0 and 2.0. These arguments should be doubles, so that's why I put 4.0 and 2.0 instead of just 4 and 2. So we want to send doubles to this function, and then it's going to return a value, and we can store the return value to a variable. So like in this case, if we said area is equal to pow, and then we send it 4 and 2. This is going to return 4 squared, and it's going to save it to this variable area. So I'm just going to put return value here. To use this pow function, we need to use the header C math. So this would be pound include C math. And we're going to learn, uh, we're going to learn about some more mathematical functions there in the C math library a little bit later.